guys, it's Bella from Bella's Toy Chest. Tonight I'll be talking about the vintage Star Wars versus the new retro Star Wars figures that came out from Target Exclusive. Uh, a lot of people actually love them, so I figured I'd go on a hunt and go find them, which was not as easy as you would think. So I went to Target and I looked all over the store and I couldn't find them at all and I was very disappointed. So I was walking around and I found someone who worked there and I was like, hey, the new retro Star Wars figures came out. Can you help me find them? Oddly enough, they were in the Father's Day department where I don't think anybody would know they were there. So come to find out they had a case, actually two cases left. So I went ahead and got a case, but I sent that case off to go get graded, which I will show you guys when it comes back. And the one that I kept... I figured I'd go ahead and do a review of what I thought about them and let's see what the difference is. So I'll go ahead and I know a lot of people probably freak out, but I'm going to open the other set that I have and compare them with the vintage ones. So the first thing I'd like to start with is the retro Han Solo. So this is Han Solo. Now I'm going to do the retro first and then show you the vintage one. So, the retro cart, the front is the same as the 12 back from 1977. The only difference is they put a retro sticker right here. Uh, they did actually want to distress these to make it look like people were collecting them for years. But, as they said, it looks like whoever was collecting these uh, actually did a poor job of keeping them in great condition. So, I would deduct points on the packaging because I don't... Personally, like the distressed look, I would like it to look pristine, new, and nice. So, that I don't like. Also, when these figures were coming out, everybody heard about them and they were pre ordered. But actually, when they were pre ordered during Christmas time, a lot of people got sent empty boxes, kind of like the original. They said, Oh, well, we'll send you an empty box and guarantee that you'll get an awesome figure. Well, they did it again, but newer so a lot of people got empty boxes when it came time for Christmas but they did actually get sent the boxes when they were in production um, of the figures and uh, there was 12 in the original but only six came later down the line we're hoping that R2D2 CP3O and Obi-Wan Kenobi will actually be produced so we can have not the full 12 but close to it so again, this is the Han Solo. It has the original looking um, logo up here. And like I said, they did want to distress it to make it look like somebody was collecting it. On the back, you can definitely tell the difference. It's not as awesome as the original, but it does say Hasbro down here in Disney, and it does have the first six. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the package. So one thing you should know is taking it out of the package... The original did not have two sleeves. So this is the Han Solo. Pop this guy out of here. So everything does, this is the retro one. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the original one. So this is the original one. And as you can see, his hair, and this is the original one, like I said. As you can see in the retro one, they do all look basically the same but the difference is, is on the back this says 1977 Hong Kong this says LFL Hasbro China if you can see it and then it has like a little white stamping I was curious to see what they said on the back so this is the original and this is the newer one as you can see his hips are a little bit whiter and his color is definitely vibrant white on this one he still has the red line going down his pants which is on the original one as well so here's the difference between them two go ahead and put this on a stand so you guys can look at them turn it around okay so vintage retro I'm gonna go ahead and set these over here so that was the Han Solo. I, he does have a blaster, which the other thing that's weird is that they put in a second sleeve and it's actually an imprint of him. 
Han Solo jumped. Okay, so go ahead and stick that back in there because I want it to look pristine as possible. So then we're going to go ahead and move along to the um, retro Princess Leia. Again, it's the original 12 back uh, front, but on the back it's the 6 and says Hasbro on it. So this is the Princess Leia. Go ahead and open her up. Pop her out of there. So she's vibrant white. Very, very white. And you can definitely feel the difference. Like, so this is the original one right here. She has more of like a peach face in the original, and this one's like a white face, but the, the texture is just so weird. I don't know how to describe it. It's like flat, and this one's more like smoother. So it's kind of weird. But this is the retro Princess Leia, which again, all the details are pretty much the same. She has her brown belt. She's very white. They definitely made it vibrant vibrant white on these figures and her hair is actually black in the retro and brown in the original again on the back it's stamped hasbro and it has like a little i guess coat or something on the back of it i'm not quite sure this is her original weapon and it's blue which her weapon ranges from 110 dollars to 125 dollars and then this is the retro one, which they made black. And a lot of people were actually worried that the weapons would pass as originals and move along with the vintage figures. But hopefully they did a good job of changing that. Again, this is the Stormtrooper, the original, tw or original 12 with a retro sticker. Again, I think it's weird that there's two bubbles in here because the original ones did not come with the bubbles. Again, he's a vibrant white, very, very white. Again, it's just crazy how white they made these figures, I guess, to make a distinct little difference. But as you could see, he's still white and black, white and black. And he, on the back, has the same exact. So the only way you could tell these figures apart is it says Hasbro China and it has like a little stamp. Other than that, I mean, these say 1977 on them. So if you were walking around and you thought you found a vintage one, you could definitely check the back to see. This is the Stormtrooper Retro Original. And he does have his blaster. Like I said, they made all the weapons black, which you can definitely tell the difference um, between the vintage blaster and the original one. Okay. And then... Like I said, Chewbacca, it's just the same. I mean, these packages are all the same, so there's nothing unique to show you. On the package, again, double. I don't like that at all. And then here's Chewbacca. Like I said, they're pretty much the same. The only difference is his weapon's black. His original one is blue. Chewie happens to be my favorite. So... And he's definitely, um, I, their hips are definitely wider. And as you can see in this one, which, go ahead and take this out. His foot and the retro one, it just looks like it got molded together. And they didn't even, like, try to make his foot look like it had toes in the original one. So this is the retro one and the original one. And he has his little satchel and then this is the vintage one and then this is the retro one the one i was really curious about was darth vader so like i said it has the 12 back front with the retro sticker again the, the back is the same so there's no use in showing you that and this is what i was curious about i still don't like this double thing so this is the retro one the new one that came out his lightsaber is like a peachy pink color and in the package he was like this so I was curious to see what he looked like in the when you opened him and look at that still has the red and silver now here's the distinct difference so this is the retro one 
the vintage one, his lightsaber is actually orange, and you can definitely tell the difference if you hold these two up together. That's so this is like a peach color, and you can definitely tell the orange color, but like I said, they nailed it pretty much with the... This is the retro one, this is the vintage one. They pretty much nailed it. Um, except for the back, it says Hasbro. There is no date on it, which was kind of disappointing, because I wanted it to say 2019, but that didn't happen. Which would have made it cool, because that's what the original ones look like. They say 1977. So to add the 2019 would definitely have been better. And the last one is Luke Skywalker. So this is Luke Skywalker. Again, the original 12 back card front, but it does have the retro sticker on it. And pull him out of here. So here he is. This is the retro one and then this is the vintage one but actually to believe it or not you wouldn't be able to tell the difference um, if you had these two the only thing that saves it is the date on his leg like I said 1977 they pretty much nailed it with the same color and I noticed that they made their faces like more pointed inwards on the retro ones I mean there's subtle differences but not really any um, I was just super excited to open these just to see what they said on the back. I know I'm like a little kid, but I love it. So, um, yeah. And I think they made their faces a little bit smaller. So, this is the retro one, and this is the vintage one. Like I said, you can see that, I mean, they're pretty much identical. So, these are all the differences between them. I mean... Again, when the graded one comes back, that one's I'm going to be super excited to show you guys because I also have 12 backs that are being graded. So I'll be able to show you the difference between those when they come in. Um, you know, Princess Leia and Han Solo. They had a little head and a big head Han Solo, but I believe this one was the little head that came in the 12 back. So, uh, Thanks for watching. Um, it was just a little bit to tell you about the difference. Again, I just wanted to open it to see what the back said because I was super excited. If you do go looking for these, you do have to ask for them in the men's department. Or you can go up to the front. And if you have the SKU number, you can see if they have cases of them. Which are very unlikely because they are selling out. Like, everywhere. I think I went to four different Targets just to go find them. So again, that was just my little thing on uh, the retro versus the vintage. Um, remember, all their weapons on the retro ones are black, and the original ones are blue and black. They do have a float test, so if you do find some you think you have the original, you could put them in water and see if they float, or you could put a flashlight on them, um, and if they glow right through, they're fake. If they're solid, they're real. So, there's my little tidbit on the retro versus the vintage. Thanks for watching. Bye!